Hello, Mike from B&D Innovative Tools. I want to explain a little bit about some glue pulling. We'll go over uh, the light. We'll go over the actual mini lip glue pulling and uh, give you a little insight on how that's done. Uh, first, with the light, I want to explain to you, this is a 12 volt shadow caster light. We do sell it, it's, uh, it's in our eBay or on our website, whichever one you're looking at. Uh, as you can see, it's got the, the standard T12 bulb here. It's uh, 18 inches long, and this light actually creates its own dark line. If you can see in here, it goes from bright to darker to darker to darker until it goes off the metal. What you're using is the gradient part of the white to the dark. And that also will show you on here on the reflection, and that's how you're, that's how you're reading the dent. Let's get into preparing for the uh, actual pulling the dent. What you'll want to do is you'll want to always wash the area where you're pulling the dent. It's not going to work if you don't wash it. You're going to have wax, corrosion, fallout from the sky, whatever is on the car, you're going to have it on there. You'll want to take denatured alcohol. It's just standard denatured alcohol, not rubbing alcohol, denatured. Get a rag, get it nice and wet, clean it real good. Clean the area real good, it should dry up by itself real quick. That'll get us ready to adhere the tabs to the to the dent. So what we'll do is uh, in your in your dent kit, you have different sizes, we have four different tabs. We have the large, the medium large, the medium and the small. Well, this is a pretty small dent, so let's let's try using the small the small tab. This is uh, actually this is the, the medium tab. Let's use the medium tab. We'll go with that. So what you do is uh, apply the glue directly into the hole. Sometimes what I do if I'm having a hard time for it, uh, actually adhering to the panel, I'll take some 2000 grit sandpaper, scuff it up real good, don't go too deep, just a little bit. I'm not gonna do that in this demonstration. I'm sure it should work out just fine. I'm gonna glue it on and then go ahead and apply more glue around the tab. This is the proper way to glue. So we'll glue around the tab quite a bit of glue, you want to get enough on there so it's going to hold. And then I'm going to take a bottle of water and go ahead and pull that, pull that glue on there. There's no reason to sit around waiting for it to, to dry unless you're going to do a whole bunch of, go around and glue a whole bunch of uh, hail spots or whatever you got if you got multiple ones. But since I only have one, I'm going to go ahead and cure that glue. Now I'm just using, I got a little bit of Windex with some water, it doesn't matter. It's gonna work regardless. Got it nice and dry. Feels like it's stuck on there pretty good. So what we'll do from there is go ahead and grab our B&B mini lifter, slide it on. We'll need to adjust the foot to the tab so it starts to pull on it. And when it starts to pull, that's where we want to stop. Now it's nice and tight. It's up against there. So what I'll do is I'm just not gonna rip into this thing and start pulling away. I'm gonna gently kind of massage it a little bit. It doesn't appear that I let this dry long enough. I should have should have let it dry longer, but it's gonna pull right out because it was still kind of still trying kind of wet and hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera off for a second. I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to go get a, a scraper and I'll show you how to clean the glue off and clean it up and get it ready for another pull. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get remove the glue. So usually I have a smaller, smaller jug, but just pour some denatured alcohol on that glue. And then in your kit, you should have some type of scraper if you don't. Pick up plastic scrapers in the paint section or whatever, but it should come with a, a plastic scraper of some sort in that kit. Let that sit for a minute, and then it'll just, that easy, pop off. And it looks like we uh, actually got most of the dent out the first time around, even with that light, light pull with the glue not sticking so well. I was actually, for the next demonstration, I was going to go to the black glue, because you do get clear and black. 
and change over to the black and uh, see what we got with the black, see if we get a little better pull, but seem to soften it up pretty good. The dent's probably 50% out from where it was. We actually were going to go for getting it high before uh, it's finished. It'll actually be high and we'll have to punch it down. The dent's just not going to go back to the original position without bringing it up high and then punching it down. You can just keep washing that glue off. There's a little bit of glue in the in there still. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But you can see it got most of the dent out. So you can see it there in your video. So what I'll do is I'm going to change over to the black glue and uh, we'll finish pulling. Okay, so we're back here. Now I got the, I actually changed out the glue to see if the black's going to pull a little stronger for me today different glues, the, the clear and the black, the difference is, is the temperature and the, the actual the moisture in the air. But I'm just testing it, I don't know, it's kind of cold today, a little warm, a little cold, it's probably about 65 degrees here in California today. Uh, probably 50%, 30% moisture, barometric pressure uh, in the air. So I just, I usually experiment on my pulls and I'm showing you from the very first pull. So you're seeing me experiment with the, the different glues right now as we're talking for this particular day and the temperature outside. So what I'm going to do is uh, find the dent again. Uh, and I also went to a smaller tab because now I made, actually made the, the dent smaller from that first pull. So I'm gluing around the whole tab. It's our, these are our star tabs. They are designed by us. Uh, for a reason and it's to embed itself into the glue like you've seen We're actually the round ones if you look at the, the mushroom style ones the round ones Well, you're only sticking to the surface the head of the surface of that and you're having to glue all the way up and around the tab To get the glue to the, the tab to stick inside the glue with ours with the fingers You're just gluing over the top of the fingers and it's webbing itself inside the glue for a much stronger pull and these aren't made in China, they're made here from 100% nylon, not just some plastic that they guessed that would work right. Doesn't mean that uh, they're gonna last 100 pulls or, or there's, no, there's no telling how many pulls that we'll get out of this one tab. They can be cleaned as many times as it doesn't break, but they obviously start getting weaker and weaker as we're stretching and putting tensile strength on the plastic or on the nylon. So they do weaken over time and they will break and you'll have to rebuy them. And, and some people use them once and throw them away because they're too lazy to clean them, but they can be cleaned off pretty easily with soaking in them in the denatured alcohol in a cup. So what we'll do is we'll go back and I'll, I'll dry it out. I'll wait a little while longer here. I was trying to be fast with the camera on the earlier pull and we just pulled too quick. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna cool this off. And I kind of scratched the paint a little bit with this rag when I was cleaning the the glue off, not a problem. You should always carry wax with you for when you're done doing any of your dent pulling. If you have to do any color sanding or anything, you always want to uh, carry wax in a rag so you can polish back out the surface. I don't have any wax with me or I'll have to, if I find some in the shop, I'll, I'll bring it back. We're not an actual dent pulling company. We just manufacture the tools. So let me uh, continue to try to get this to, to dry up so we can get a good pull. I need to get a final pull that's going to get high on this so we can bring it up high and show you how to bring it back down. Uh, just letting it, letting it sit up here. Give the... Sorry, I'm looking for my mini lifter. This is live. Here we go. Got the B&D mini lifter. And it will be tight from the last time we did it, so we'll need to drop it back down. And if you'll notice with the B&B Mini Lifter, we've actually adjusted this. If you look at uh, some of the other companies out there that make these, they make this knob really short. And it's one thing that we took took an already great product and, and made it a little bit better. Uh, we've adjusted it, and this is all made out of stainless steel. Everything's stainless steel or aluminum, billet aluminum or Delrin on this. Even the screws and the nuts and the bolts are all stainless steel. It's all made top of the line. Nothing's chintzy, nothing's cheap, it's not a powder coated thing. This is a, this is a anodized. 
Uh, it's a billet aluminum and we're cutting it with a machine, CNC machine. It's, there's nothing cheap about it. It's all expensive to manufacture. It's not sent over to China to be cast molded, made very inexpensively and cheap. Uh, this, this is top of the line product here, made here in the USA. So once we get that dried up and we get this nut back adjusted, once again, we're just not going to rip into this thing. You know, I, I want to feel how tight my ad adhesion is to this and make sure that it's nice and strong. So when you're pulling, it actually pulls up. So what we'll do is we're going to check it again. As you'll notice, glue pulling is a little bit of a science. It's something you'll have to practice with. I'm not great at it because I don't do it every day, but guys that do it every day get very, very good at it. Uh, once again, we'll, we'll pour some uh, denatured alcohol on it. Grab our scraper, let it sit for a minute. Grab our scraper and it should get up underneath there. And pop the, the glue right off. Like so. So anyways, that's the basic gist of it. And uh, we hope that this has taught you a little bit about the lighting, how to read the light, how to properly glue pull. What I would what I would do, I don't have any, and I don't want to do it to this vehicle. Uh, I don't need to do it. I'm going to get in there and, and just finish out the den, the little bit that's left off the camera. I don't want to bore you with all the, the extra stuff and the time that we're going to do. But uh, what I would do is uh, when this is finished, I would do the little bit of color sanding and buff it out real quick. You don't need a buffer just by hand, just rub it really hard so it gets hot and it will, it'll glaze that clear back over. But uh, I want to thank you for uh, looking at our video and hopefully uh, you choose to pick up one of our B&D mini lifters.